company. We're going to listen to his perspective and his journey of really turning a startup paid capital of 110 crores to a market cap of 40,000 crores in 17 years, ladies and gentlemen, which also makes them one of the biggest as per an analysis. So this is the session where we really question whether you innovate, you be an early adopter, or you perish. And to present this session, ladies and gentlemen, it's my proud privilege to invite on stage MD and CEO, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company, Mr. Tapan Singha. Let's put our hands together, a loud round of applause. Let's create some energy in the room. Mr. Singha, welcome to the stage. All yours. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, a very good afternoon, everybody. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here. I think before I start speaking, there's one thing which really impressed me. Is this conference which people matter is doing. So I didn't have much clue about it. My head of told me that we have this conference and it'll be good if you speak. I said, okay, let's go for it. And then he gave me a brief, and Vikram is here. 3,000 people, and the speed and the energy at which they're doing it, be it you know, Twitter or social media, and when you walk in, it's just a couple of minutes and you're in. You know? Managing this is phenomenal. So a round of applause for People Matters first and Nestor, because I think they do a great job to begin with. And now let's get on to the topic. So what I'll do is, the way I normally do you know, when, I, when I look at presentations is, I flip through all the slides in my mind, and then I let the speaker speak. You know? So what I do to others, I let you do to me. So what we do is we just flip through the slides, and then we put the story together. So how do we get slides? I speak nothing when you see the slides, and then we move. Okay, so now you have my story very clearly. So let's, let's put this, all the this, all this slides together. So I remember I want to be a scientist. So by my qualification, I'm a master's in physics who so specialized in radiance spectroscopy. Yeah? The wrong guy to be speaking in this forum. I, got, I should be like doing some kind of research, but the innovation gets me here. And in those days, when I, when I used to you know, look for a job, you had to qualify for some competitions. That is how you got into a government job, and you know, class one officer was the, like the thing to be. And I was going to US for my research, and my room partner bought a foreman of an insurance, you no know, government officer position, private or not allowed then. And he said, just fill this up. I said, no, no, I'm not interested. He said, it's an IQ test, Mr. Singh. It is not mugging up that you know, be the top in your class. That challenge got me to fill the form, and luckily, unluckily, I qualified. And once I qualified, at a young age, as being a class one officer, it was stupid if you don't join it. So I said, it looks good. So I went back home, I told my mom, I want to join insurance. And she cried. <laughs> if you had to join insurance, only, well, that, that's the best you could think about. And she actually cried and said, Ki, and, and when she gets frustrated with me, even till date, she says, ja, jo man mein kar. Then she just gives up. So I, I still went and joined, and, and I fell in love with it. And when we did this JV with Allianz in the year 2001, so I was telling a story to my German friends, you know, that this is what happened. And then he said, no, no, in Germany it's better. When you fail in life, you become a bartender. And you fail as a bartender, you join insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, let's start the story from here. Yeah? 2001, we set up this company, Bajaj and Alliance together as a JV, as Bajaj Alliance, general insurance company. We also have a life company. And this is an amazing sector to be in. <laughs> let's look at some of the problems that we face. One, if you look at the statement that which we said, talk to anybody on the street, what's your view of insurance industry? They say these guys don't pay claims. And you look at the data in terms of the combined ratio, which is claims plus expenses plus commission for the industry, it's at 115, which means for every 100 rupees they take, 115 is the paid, which means the industry is dying to death Paying claims. And the person's street feels they don't pay claims. That's one problem statement, yeah? 
Second, I was also the president of the Indo-German Chamber, so I did a lot of trade delegations with Germany. And I remember, when I used to go to Germany, they used to be very excited. They used to say, India has got demographic dividend. India has youth, and India will be the superpower of 2030. And, and I used to think, yeah, we have the youth, but if we don't have the employment, then the superpower is not happening. No? That's the second problem statement which comes to the mind. And third is the tear of my mother's, no, 26 years back is the problem statement. So let's try and take these three problem statements no, to solve it and why it is so. Now first let's look at why does a customer feel that the insurance company does not pay claims? No. When the industry was set up in the 16th century, the purpose was you take money from many to pay to a few who has some untoward incident. That's all? That's what insurance is about? But the responsibility of the industry was not to pay to people who are trying to defraud you, because you are the custodian of money of many people who trust you. That is the basic principle of insurance. So the entire industry set up a process of mechanism that the moment you lodge a claim, they see you from a belief that you are going to defraud. They start eliminating all points before they pay. Now, this very purpose of elimination of fraud makes you believe as a customer that they don't want to. And by the time you get the money, you feel like you have won a battle. Yeah? Wow, and I finally could take out some money from insurance guys. Yeah? Both are right. But you have to solve this problem. You can't be in an industry where people feel that they don't pay for what they, what they do. Then as a company, we thought that why is this so? The process of claim payment is so cumbersome. And then the mission statement we had for ourselves is, can we pay all retail claims within 10 minutes of the incident? But that's what my team told me. I told them, can you pay before the customer realizes that he has a claim? No, I, I <laughs> See, they're the insurance guys. You know when they laugh, yeah? <laughs> so they say, oh, oh man, if they start paying, how do they operate? You sell the company, right? Yeah. But you know, that is the beauty of my team. They're phenomenal. They did it. If you're traveling abroad or in India, you take your passport, you scan it, you scan the boarding pass, your policy gets done, nothing to enter, and there's a claim for trip delay. As you travel and a trip delay happens and you don't realize it, you get a message from us saying, your claim has happened, do you want the money? You say, yes, we pay. Now all we did was use blockchain. You have all the flight details, put it together, the boarding pass is with us, moment the delay happens, we know it, pay. Automobile, which is the largest claim which happens in GI, 70% of claims happen is automobile. Now when an accident happens, you get down, click pictures, upload, within 10 minutes time, we transfer money to your account. Now, it's no rocket science, simple. Earlier, you sent a survey because you wanted evidence that he, it's not a fraud. Then you wanted estimate because you wanted to know he's not overcharging. In today's time, when you click pictures on the spot and you upload it, you already have the evidence. And once you upload it, we have settled crores of claims and we just do a photogrammetry you know, kind of match. And the moment we match it, we know the assessment. Pay. So when you talk of innovations, it is not only about no, the industries which you see in the forefront. It is about simple things where you identify a problem and you solve it. And solve it to a level where you change the entire industry and the perception. You're in the business of insurance, you're in the business of paying claims. And that you do in a manner. You know, the customer does not feel that you are making an effort not to pay claims, which is not the industry's concept. But at the same time, as a custodian of money of millions of people, you're not letting them down because you're using fraud analytics, you're using photogrammetry at the background to do that much before others realize what has happened. Now let's come to the second problem statement. India, demographic dividend. Who can provide 
employment to millions. So when you open a factory, you provide employment to thousands. Have you ever seen somebody open a factory and say, we'll employ, no, one million people? And it happened. You employ thousands, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000. The biggest factory would have, what, 20,000 people? But we never realize the insurance industry provide employment to millions of people. Now, if I look at the general insurance space, in GI, the oldest company in India, which would be over 100 years old, has presence only in 3,000 towns, fundamentally because general insurance is for assets. And assets you only have in towns. While India has close to 10,000 towns and 600,000 villages. Now, why is it that the generation industry does not go beyond the top two, 3,000 towns? Because the cost of setting an office and the cost of running the business may become more expensive than doing business at location. So why can't we set up virtual offices? Why do we require a brick and mortar office today's time when you have everything on the go? Why can't the mobile or the tablet become your office? And why can't we have a mission to provide employment to minimum 10 lakh people in the next five years? If we want to contribute to our country and to society. That was the statement with which we started about three to four years back. We ensured that be it any claim which is on the retail side, be it any policy on the retail side, that should be issued through a mobile or through the tablet. You'll be happy to know we have opened close to 1,400 such offices. And the day we reach 10,000 offices, which will happen in the next four to five years, 100 agents per office, then the statement of providing employment to 10 lakh people and make a difference to society and the country comes true. And it's so simple. Now you look at it. It is not a rocket science. All we thought was a problem statement. How do you expand the reach on a variable basis? How do you put your process systems onto the mobile or the tablet? And how do you try and solve the demographic dividend of the country to a positive term? <coughs> and we are just one company. The good thing about competition is, if you do good, they copy very fast. No? That is what competition is all about. It's actually good, which means that with minimum 50 companies, and each can do this. And 10 lakh each in one company, you're already talking of a five crore employment generation in this country just by the insurance industry in 10 years' time. So the impact of simple thinking, the impact of trying to solve a problem can be so powerful that even you don't think about it when you start. Now, coming to my mother's tears, I want to go back to her one day, you know, and I, 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 I'm not sure if she still feels you know, happy that I joined the insurance company or not. I tell her, Mom, look here. Your son was instrumental in a small piece to provide livelihood to 10 lakh people, to wipe tears of 25 crore Indians, you know, and created a company along with his colleagues and the shareholders, which you put a capital of 100 crores and goes to become a unicorn very, very early and to reach to a 46,000 crores. We provide employment to MBAs, doctors, engineers, and that is where the slide shows. Because you require, we ensure power plants, pharma plants, satellites, ducks, pigs, crops, everything you think about which means I have to have expert in all the fields. Insurance is one of the sexiest jobs to be in. The kind of learning you have, the kind of reach you have, the kind of people you meet, and the way you make a difference is much beyond what you see. And that's all I want to talk to you about. We have 20 minutes, and I'll bring these three things together for you. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>
on building the innovation mind.